My understanding of what happened that day is that the fracture occurred relatively suddenly, more or less without warning, and so there were people in the vicinity who were doing their job or playing, some kids were playing in the, in the vicinity of the tank, and uh, the fracture occurred very quickly so the tank basically fell apart immediately. Now you have a large wave of liquid, in this case molasses, which even though it's relatively heavy, is still moving very quickly. And in addition to moving quickly, it's also relatively heavy, so that when it hits the nearby structures, there were some houses and buildings associated with the fire department, it was able to knock those buildings down. And if you look at the photographs after the accident, you can see the tops of buildings moved several feet from where, they're, where they were initially standing. So then the molasses was engulfing people and they couldn't extract themselves from it. If you're in water, it's a lot easier to move yourself about, but in molasses, and I think this is part of what makes the story so interesting, you can't move yourself, it's a sticky mass. And so this trapped people and then they got molasses inside their body, bodies and were not able to breathe and that's the way they